throughout Asia and Europe, Americans have the undeserved reputation of being authors of the most materialistic civilization that ever existed. The undeserved reputation. Because never was there a culture so completely unmaterialistic. I define a materialist as a person who loves material and who reverences it and who delights in using it to its best advantage. And if you will examine the system of education through which most of our children are compelled to pass, you will discover that it imparts almost no knowledge whatsoever of any kind of material competence. Our education is exclusively bookish and is designed on the whole to train people to be bureaucrats, bankers' clerks, insurance salesmen, teachers, and uh, we hope intellectuals. It is a curious thing, but in its weak moments, it uh, admits that there are a lot of people going through the scheme who really will never qualify for graduate school not even perhaps for college. And for these it must provide, rather regretfully, some courses which train them for other things. It's always a joke among uh, Europeans that in American colleges you can get an AB, uh, you can get credits towards an AB for courses in basket weaving. And uh, this isn't really so funny as it looks. Because when it is the ideal that sort of everyone should go through college, if possible, you have to adjust to facts. You can't have a nation, you can't have a society in which everyone is always occupied in intellectual and computational pursuits. A few people have to be around who know how to handle the material world in a gracious way. And for these people we provide only regretfully as an afterthought that people who might other words, otherwise be dropouts in high school should be given some courses which would prepare them for trades in carpentry, uh, metallurgy, uh, even perhaps auto mechanics, furniture makers, cooks, and so on. But as a rule, uh, because these kinds of education in the academic world are provided only with regret, they are provided in a slovenly fashion. We do not, we simply do not relate to the material world. And we are increasingly lacking in any kind of competence in handling physical matter, except in such far-out cases as people who make jet aircraft and certain very sophistica sophisticated types of scientific instruments, where it is absolutely necessary that there be the highest degree of mastery. Aside from that, because of the lack of material competence, our life is extremely drab. It is simply astonishing that the wealthiest nation on earth simply does not know how to enjoy itself in a material and obvious way. Now, you would think 